Tom Grennan here on BBC Radio Oxford. What makes you think of your childhood? Is it a car, smell, maybe a food? Bratz dolls remind me of my childhood. It wasn't about the Barbie too much, although I did have Barbie dolls, but Bratz dolls were a thing. Food-wise, oh gosh, um, I think Fruit Winders and Haribo were a big thing as well. For Tim McDonoghue, it's the aroma of apples and cinnamon cooking away to make a chunky apple sauce. Tim is from the northeastern United States around Pennsylvania area. When he moved to the UK, he decided to bring his grandmother's recipe here. Good morning, Tim. Thank you so much for coming into the studio with all of your apple sauce. <laughs> <laughs> It's nice having you in. Um, so can you start off by talking about your grandmother and her applesauce? Of course I can. And good morning, Fleur. Thanks for having me in. Um, it, if you will, you know, let me paint a picture for you. Okay. Um, so if you can imagine, it's a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a clear, cold, you know, I'd say brisk, you know, probably an October afternoon. Mm. And, you know, I'd be walking home from school and, you know, the sky is so blue, you have to squint just to look at it. Yeah. And the trees are just brimming in reds and greens and yellows and oranges and reds. And I'm trudging through the garden. Um, we had a big sycamore tree in our front garden. So the leaves everywhere, you know, leaves as big as your head type of yeah. thing. And I walk in the house and just be like being hit in the face with this aroma of apples and cinnamon cooking on the stove um, that my grandma would be making. That wasn't something we had every day, um, but it would be like, and be like, can I have some? Can I have some? And be like, well, no, you got to wait for dinner. <laughs> you know, we're having it mm -hmm. for dinner. And eventually she'd relent and she'd let me try that. Um, and that's something that sort of stuck with me. I've always been a big fan of applesauce. I've always eaten it my whole life. And uh, when I got here, I, I kind of forgot about it, to be honest with you, for a while. And UK uh, doesn't really do applesauce unless it's on pork. <laughs> it's, it, it, exactly, exactly. And, I, you know, I've I tried some and it was nice. It was nice. Um, and then I remember looking at the jar when I was putting it back in the fridge to see, mm. well, you know, how long will it last? And it said, you know, use within 12 weeks. And I thought, well, geez. 12 Did it? Weeks. 12, I'm surprised. 12 weeks. You know, what's in this applesauce that lasts for 12 weeks once it's opened? And I sort of looked at, you know, the ingredients and said, you know, like 59% apple. I could do better than that. So, yeah. I, so I made some. And, you know, no thought of a business, nothing like that. So I made some. And, you know, mm. my family thought, this is great. This is great. Kept making it. Friends, this is great. And people started saying, you should sell this. Oh. And, and that went on, I'll be honest with you, Floyd, it went on for about three years. Did it? <laughs> <laughs> People telling me I should sell this. Um, yeah, but I think that you are your own worst critic, so you don't believe it until like it starts to grow and grow and grow. I think so. I think so. And then I was sort of involved. In, it was like a community group, if you will. Uh, it was called uh, Maui. Uh, it was started by a chap by the name of an Oxford guy, Ben Molyneux. It was made up of a lot of business people. Um, it wasn't about business, though. It was about sort of, you know, bettering the community and bettering yourself at the same yeah. time. And and they were, they would, people would be talking about their own business, their own business. And, you know, when I just decided this, well, what have I got to lose? Nothing, really. You I know? mean, it's it's a very small market, applesauce. And so yeah. you're, you're probably going to do really well. You're probably doing amazing. So where do you, do you like set up at any like markets or anything? Where do you get your applesauce like out there? Well, originally what I did is, you know, I sort of looked at, you know, let me do some market research. Now that sounds really professional when I say it that way. <laughs> um, my, my market research was I went to a market. <laughs> <laughs> well, that's genuine market research. And it, was, it was a food fair that was going on in Banbury, uh, yeah. which is, as you can tell from my accent, which is where I'm from. Um, <laughs> but, uh, <laughs> and I sort of walked around and at first I didn't, there was no one selling applesauce. And then there was one person selling it and it was applesauce and cinnamon. And I was quite excited about it. And yeah. it had samples. So I tried it. I just went, that, that's lousy. <laughs> really? I didn't, I didn't say that to them. I just no, said, you were like, I just said okay. mm, and walked away. Okay. Um, so I thought I could, you know, I could, I could probably do better than that. So I started getting exp experimenting and first off with different flavors. Um, yeah. And then sort of made the decision that, okay, if it's, it needs to be organic. Yeah. Um, and primarily because it, once I started, if you will, researching, you've probably heard the saying, an apple a day keeps the doctor away. Mm -hmm. So I said, oh, is that true? I sort of looked it up. You know, is it true? Yeah. You know, internet's doing great. You, internet's research? great for research. Yeah. Um, so I started looking that up and seeing, well, is it true? And found out that, you know, like most of the time if you make applesauce, you peel the apples. Yeah. Um, and the reason that is is because of, you know, modern farming and, and modern orchards and lots of pesticides and things like that. So, well, organic doesn't have all of that, so I could leave the skin on. Mm -hmm. And then sort of experimenting, how can I make this so it doesn't really affect the consistency and the taste and then finding the right apple that will do that and then coming to you know getting to that conclusion that let's make this healthy mm -hmm. 
because apples really are really, really good for you. They um, are. I mean, I have one usually during the week at work. As I like, It always hits 4 p.m. The 4 p.m. slump is mm-hmm. what people call it, and I have an apple. Yep. And it ties me over until dinner for yep. an hour after, yeah. and it's so refreshing. And when you get a crisp, good apple, I have mm-hmm. to tell people about it. Yep. <laughs> I'm like, I just had the best apple ever, like really yeah. nice and crisp. Yeah. Um, and it's really good for your gut. Amazing. Oh, it's, it is amazing, and it's... It, there's a lot of talk about like probiotics, yeah, and and probiotics are you know very important healthy bacteria for your gut. What's not really known is prebiotics, mm-hmm. um, and what prebiot basically what a probiotic needs food once it gets into your gut, mm-hmm. and its food is prebiotics. And prebiotics, it's a big word, but it just means fiber. Yeah, <laughs> it's just fiber. <laughs> okay. um, so you could spend a lot on you know your kimchi and your your other fermented products. Yeah, if you haven't got prebiotics, you're ingesting this and they're dying. Okay. Um, but with prebiotics. Um, and again, all of this is, it's amazing the, the things you find out because I don't remember where I heard this, but it was, you know, it was a, either a television show or a, a movie or something. And one of the characters in the movie said, you know, the secret to a long life is a healthy colon. Right. So I, I, I kind of Google that and I came across this guy called Ilya Mechnikov, who was like the father of probiotics, who was yeah. talking about, you know, most human illnesses and diseases are born of an unhealthy digestive system yeah. and, and sort of going on with that. Um, so it's amazing where this sort of takes you from, you know, from a health standpoint and things like that. And that's kind of where, if you will, my catchphrase, which is guilt-free pleasure. So, which is, you know, like when people this. come up and ask me, what do you do? I said, I provide guilt-free pleasure. Yeah. I mean, it's, that definitely gets people talking as well. Yeah, certainly um, an attention getter. Yeah. <laughs> um, I mean, you are called the New England Applesauce Company and you've yes. brought in quite a few jars of this applesauce. I have. Yes. I would love to try some. You even brought in spoons, so I would <laughs> love to have a little try of, of each one if possible. Yes, yeah, Um One thing that I want to try first is the cinnamon and maple one because pancake day is coming up. It is. Would you put applesauce on pancakes? Where? How would you? What foods would you pair it with? It, it's a great question, and, and that's the one question I get asked the most because I do sell it, you know, food fairs and, and yeah. farmers markets. And the one question I get asked is, like you said, is you know, well, I know to use it with pork, but what else can I use it yeah. for? Yeah. And it's, you know, if me, I incorporate it into my diet daily, mm-hmm. but I'd, I'd have to, wouldn't I? Yeah. <laughs> if you want to sell your business, you got to be the first one to um, use but it. Yes. Things like pancakes, things like porridge. Uh, so oh, yeah. Porridge. And, you know, one of the great things is, you know, things, it's, it's, it's a great recipe, overnight oats. Yeah. Me, yeah. Where you know, a lot of people, I don't have time for breakfast. Well, you know, you got five minutes. Yeah. yeah, I could probably have five If minutes. you're scrolling on your phone, you've got time to make Then you've got time for oats. this. You know, it's, you know, literally, you know, half a cup of oats, half a cup of milk of your choice. Yeah. Half a cup of applesauce, put it in a jar, shake it up, put it in the fridge. Next morning, take the lid off, put it in the microwave. You don't even have to put it in a bowl if you don't want to. This is so fun. I had apple overnight oats this morning as yeah. a breakfast. It's a great breakfast, especially when you're doing a shift like I have yeah. done today where I start at 6 a.m. I can't yeah. not have breakfast. Yeah. Otherwise, I get thrown for the rest of the day. Yes. And you, your body will just want carbs, which is fine, obviously yeah. fine. But you'll want something. You'll have, you want food that probably isn't the best thing to have in the morning immediately because your body's like, we need some energy because yeah. we're up early. Yeah. So can I try the cinnamon and maple one, please? You certainly can. This sounds up my street. It sounds like it's autumn in a spoonful. <laughs> autumn in a jar. It's yeah. One, it's, it's one of my friends call it. It's like dreams in a jar. Oh, Do you send it to family back in America? I, I do, yeah. Oh, yeah. nice. Yeah. Yeah. Well, of course, it's their grandmother as well. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. Imagine if you were like, you have to come to the UK to try my applesauce, guys. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, you also want to be eco-friendly is what I've uh, understood as well. Like yes. Your, your packaging looks very environmentally friendly um, with with having glass jars, for example. Yes. And and again, that's, you know, that's where the guilt-free pleasure comes in. It's, you know, it, it tastes amazing. Mm-hmm. It's incredibly good for you. Yeah. And we're very kind to the planet. Exactly. So it's, you, you can eat it without feeling guilty. Yeah. Yeah, I, I think that this is the best way. Look, you've got a nice wooden spoon. Yeah, all biodegradable. Biodegradable <laughs> wooden spoon, thank you very much. So, I'm going to give it a smell. Oh, my gosh, already it smells like <laughs> stewing apples on the stove. Um, oh, this reminds me of, like, crumbles and stuff. Let's give it mm. a taste. Oh, that's so nice. So good. Mm. Exactly how apples just taste. Yes. Like, I think the consistency and the texture, you can definitely tell that these are real apples. I mean, I think mean, all apple sauce is like with real apples, but yes. you've put the skin on and I can taste it. Yes. Mm. Yes. And it's, it's it, again, because of, 
at, at the very basics, if you take the skin off, you're losing about half the fiber in the apple. Um, but yeah. what doesn't really, it's not as well known is what's called phytonutrients. And I don't remember their names. They're really long names. It's a lot of science. Basically anti-inflammatories mm. and, and you know, things that, uh, antioxidants and things like they that. Are good. If you, if you, they, they exist right underneath the skin. They are really good. I mean, I'm I'm absolutely fine with eating the skin of a kiwi. People think right. I'm really horrible and weird for doing that, but like mm. I eat it like an apple, a kiwi, because yeah, the skin here. is meant to have the most nutrients. Yeah, same here. Mm. Okay. I, I, I didn't know you could peel a kiwi, but maybe that's, <laughs> maybe that's just me. People cut it and then spoon it out. <laughs> Do they? Oh, okay. And then they use like the skin as a cup, and okay. then you just eat the middle of it. But I mean, it was like an apple, and it's so good. Okay. So I'm big fan of the cinnamon and maple one because it reminds me of um autumn the leaves falling you've definitely set the scene with this one yes. should we go on to the next one what's the next one well what we'll do is we'll try a, we'll try a different variety of two different varieties of apple mm. one is um it, it's the one that you just had is i use the gala apple or the mm -hmm. royal gala apple and i chose that one a because of the the thickness of the skin uh, because it's not a very thick skin so it will yeah. incorporate quite nicely but also that's an apple that is from an organic standpoint is available year round i can mm -hmm. get that and year round because it's just such a popular apple now the next one we're going to try is the Dis discovery chunky chili oh my gosh okay. so how spicy do you go with the chili it is it's it's contrary to i uh, suppose yeah, my, I my upbringing being american it's very subtle <laughs> <laughs> i i'm i'm just trying to think about how much of a good spice person i am i can deal with a certain amount it's like yeah it's, small it's, amount. it's not it, it's not flavored of yeah. chili at all and in fact it is very subtle and yeah. you'll probably you'll have your spoonful mm -hmm. and you'll be wondering where the chili is and you swallow and you go oh on the nice kick that you get, <laughs> and you get it's, just, I, it's a I nice like, heat kick i love having a, i can have mild to medium spice but i i yeah. like to be able to enjoy it because i've had really spicy foods in the past where it's actually made me not hungry yes um so i know my limits now <laughs> this will be uh let me just make sure there's some chili in it but it's okay. Yeah, it, it is. This is now. This is a different apple. This is a local apple. Yeah. Um, funnily enough, I, from an organic orchard in Soulgrave. Yeah. Which is the home of well, it, his ancestors came from there. Yeah. George Washington. Oh wow. Okay, so, so I'm trying this one. It's a different one. color as well. This is like a pale. Yeah. This so is what applesauce usually looks like in the it UK. It usually looks like it because it, the apple is. It will get a red blush on it, kind of, mm -hmm. um, but not as much as a gala. So it doesn't color the applesauce as much. Okay, I'm just trying it. But this would be more tart. I feel the little kick in yeah. the throat yeah. just as you swallow it. Yeah. I think that's really nice. This tastes like applesauce that I know of. Yes. But I really like the other one as well. Yes. The cinnamon and maple, I think, is a really nice touch. Mm. And this would be really good with, um, I think, like cheese. A cheese and apple is a big it's, fan it, of it mine. It is amazing with cheese. And like one of my customers, goes, oh, so I, I just tried it on cheese on toast. Mm. And I said, that never occurred to me. I said, well, how'd you make it? And he goes, yeah, like normally make cheese on toast, but then once the cheese is melted, spread some of that on and put it yeah. back under the grill so it warms up. And I said, ooh, that's Well, cheese and nice. crackers as yeah, well. cheese and crackers, yes. That'd be good. Okay, we've got one final one because we've got the news coming up. So what are we going to choose as our last one? What are we going to choose as our last one? Um, God, these all taste really nice. Let's just try traditional. Yeah, that's I think awesome. that's probably good to go with the classic. Let's just try to finish it off going on with the normal applesauce. Yeah, I really like this. It's um, applesauce is not something I usually think of to put on porridge. I usually put berries on, but this is a good alternative as well. Berries, porridge, and like what I do with mine is I even supplement like the fiber. So I put yeah. like chia seeds in it or flaxseed. Yeah. Oh, this is so up my street. I'm like into health because it's so important yeah. to look after your body. Um, and you could, you know, you don't have to just, you know, I, blueberries, cranberries. Yeah. Um, okay, thank you very much. This is like a mix between the two, like color wise, a mix between the two I've just tried. Yeah. So this, this is just, this, it'll, it'll have a bit of a redder color to it because it's, because it's a redder apple. Mm. Um, but this is just traditional applesauce. No flavoring. It feels really good knowing I'm eating the skin, like, because it feels really natural that way. Yeah. Yeah. This is a and lovely it's, you know, sauce. It's got a very complicated ingredient list. You know, mm -hmm. it's just organic apples, 100%. Mm -hmm. Plus love and passion, 110%. Mm. Of course, with your grandmother in mind as well. Do you yeah. think she'd be proud of you? I think so. Mm. I think so. In fact, I know she would. She was, uh, she was quite a remarkable woman. Oh, um, good. You know, born at the sort of turn of the century to first generation American. Um, yeah. And, you know, lived through two world wars and the depression and 
And he's like, she was t- she was a tough old bird. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> and she made some good applesauce that you've managed to sauce, capture. Yeah. Amazing. How can people find your business? Are you online? I'm online, yes. it's uh, The web address is newapplesauce.com. Newapplesauce.com. Thank you so much, Tim, for coming in and just being able to <laughs> help me try all these different kinds of applesauce. They've been wonderful. Are you on social media? I'm on social media, yes. Facebook, Instagram. Facebook, uh, and, Instagram. And, and new to TikTok. Are you? You're yes. on TikTok as well. I love this. I mean, it is the way it's going. Yes. And you can do so many videos of you making your apple sauce yes. as well. <laughs> so I wish you the best for navigating as well, the TikTok audience as well, because it's it's so interesting. A really good app. Thank you so much for coming in. Marvelous. Tonight, George.